Hello and welcome friends, welcome to another episode where I review affordable school fountain pens. Today I have another German, you guessed it right, another Schneider. Well, I must tell you guys that this is the most affordable fountain pen on the market made by Schneider. Of course, I bought it at a sale, at a promotion from the local retailer Kaufland and I paid for it. First of all, let me tell you the model number. If we look closely, we have Fuller, which means fountain pen, 402. And interesting, the Romanian distributor translated this like fountain pen schneider unicolor it was available in this pink color but also in a yellow color i'm not so sure maybe those are the last colors available on the stock of the hypermarket and that's why it was sold at half the price. So again, I paid for this 4.54 lays, which means I paid less than one euro, 0 0.92 euros, or 1.07 American dollars. Of course, guys, I don't know if this particular fountain pen is available in your country, but I bought this fountain pen today in my country. It was available again in limited numbers. It was a promotion and I paid a wonderful, wonderful price for it. You can see it comes in this pack made in Germany. Let me zoom for you to see better. Yes, like I told you, made in Germany, Schneider, Fuller 402. On this side we have fountain pen stilo aplume estilografica, penna stilografica, wool pen, reservoir penna and something in Russian or Bulgarian, I'm not so sure. I'm sorry about that guys. We care, refill the size of the nib M, we have a steel nib. Let me see what it writes on the back. Great Britain, fountain pen with strong nib. Includes two standard ink cartridges, blue erasable, and of course written in uh, German, in French, Spanish, Italian, Dutch, Swedish, Russian, Lithuanian, Romanian, and Polish, Poland. We have a check mark here, the series of production 106. Again, the Romanian distributor says that this is a Schneider fountain pen unicolor. It includes two ink cartridges. It says it has a economic steel nib it functions with a standard ink cartridge. We have the logo Bio, blister made of 3% bio-based plastic. We have the address of the distributor, Scribant distribution, right here in my hometown of Brasov. And we have also the address of the uh, German producer in Schramberg, Germany. The site www.schneiderpen.com We care schneiderpen.com slash we care. Okay, I am ready to open it. As you can see, it has some lines here. So it means that if I push on it, it should um, relatively easily
get out of course if I can't do it like that I will simply peel it off like this okay it opens quite nice and easy it reveals a beautiful beautiful material two ink cartridges a standard ink cartridge so this is the pack guys for the moment I will leave it here those are the two ink cartridges let me zoom out this is the fountain pen and it is quite light in fact I'm curious to see the scale how many grams it has I think that less than 10 grams we will see about that let me give you a generous zoom so you can see the cap is made out of a single part it has this integrated clip it is quite functional interesting that they, they thought of everything this is reinforced here so it is quite quite durable we have imprinted thermically imprinted schneider and made in germany quite quite nice feeling and those are the two only two visible imprints i must tell you it is made the whole body of this plastic it is quite shiny i like this pink color of it it is quite quite nice i think that yes the barrel is a pressure fit the cap is a pressure fit it can also post quite quite nice and securely it reveals this wonderful wonderful interesting grip section and this simple steel nib in comparison with the schneider basic cod this is a more a more simple nib i recently reviewed the basic of course that is uh, twice almost three times the price of this 402 unicolor fountain pen you can see the differences between them but uh, they don't have an iridium tip and they are made both out of steel so i don't think there's much differences although this nib is let's say an uh, ornate nib they have both the breathing holes and it uh, i think they will write the same but i will see that when we do the writing sample this is another plastic but practically it doesn't have that rubbery material like for instance again this cod basic it has so this it feels quite quite rubbery this is the, in fact the same material as the barrel but it is carved with those types of channels that gave gives you a nice looking grip position and if it is not enough the ending is slightly concave this is the steel nib like i told you it doesn't have an iridium ending it is quite durable in my opinion it should last you not a lifetime but several years definitely you can always find a replacement nib or if you don't find a replacement nib you can buy yourself a new fountain pen of course with the condition that this model is still available in production after four or four or five years and i said four or five years if you write have each and every day with it on the back we have a plain simple feed a plastic feed it is like a gray color we unscrew the barrel and we can see a simple simple instrument I, we should hear a click by the way we have the including in cartridges they are also branded with schneider each and every one out of them yes i think it is secure now
before I will do the writing sample guys let me unpost it let me put it right here this is the Schneider Germany and next to it another German fountain pen a luxury fountain pen with a gold nib a piston filler the Lamy and you can see that in comparison they are both the same length although this is a piston filler and this is a cartridge filler they are rough, roughly the same dimension maybe the Lamy is a little bit fatter than our Schneider fountain pen okay I will leave the Lamy aside now with your permission I will change the angle of the camera for you to see better the writing sample let me get it close i usually don't post my fountain pens because i fear them to develop scratches here but being plastic on plastic and this plastic is quite quite light i'm not so sure there will be scratches in time but to be sure you can always write with it like this it is in fact so light that i think that no problem you can post it and start working with it so let me see if we have ink no we don't have ink you know the drill guys just opening it trying to push some of the ink like this but the ultimate taste is to apply pressure and in the same time try to write with it no just apply pressure yes you can see the ink was on the table you can spread it like this and at what point your fountain pen should start working i hope okay i hope it is sufficient enough for me to do all the writing sample let me give you a nice little zoom guys let me take out this out of the picture okay this is the fountain pen it is a Schneider and the name is 402 or Unicolor Unicolor okay let me zoom a little bit okay uh, we know it is made in Germany made in Germany this is a wonderful wonderful entry-level fountain pen in fact it is the cheapest one i could find on the market and i paid for it point four four point fifty two i'm sorry four point fifty four lays which means i paid less than one euro zero point ninety two euros or one point zero seven American dollars, so quite quite an affordable school fountain pen which is ideal for all the early work of children when they learn to write this guys is a steel nib steel nib no iridium point and we know by the package that we have an M, M for a medium nib. A medium nib. A stainless steel nib. Now, I must tell you it is a smooth, smooth nib. nib no flex to it. Let me see some line variants. So here no pressure and here we start pressure you can see no significant differences so no line variance let me also show you how juicy this nib is 
quite quite a juicy nib let me see how i can do some signatures with it quite smooth and nice fitted for signatures and let me see the reverse writing definitely yes a possibility guys you can reverse write with it it uh, doesn't scratch and it doesn't lose the ink flow now i think i'm ready to tell you about the quick brown fox let me start from here so the maybe a zoom will be nice if i can the quick brown fox jumps okay sorry over over the lazy dog so this is it guys this was my writing sample uh, what can i say a wonderful wonderful lib at an incredible price so for around one dollar or one euro you can buy yourself a writing instrument uh light writing instruments like the italian say leggero and uh, you can't find uh, can't find any flaws at this price and the quit with this beautiful nib you can conquer yourself lots and lots of uh, papers you can uh, write for a long period of time without your fingers getting tired quite quite a beautiful affordable school fountain pen we have to thank schneider from germany for delivering this quality at this price it doesn't even compare with the chinese manufacturers it has something to do with the material with the presentation i don't know but this fountain pen it doesn't feel cheap it feels like a great great investment at least this is my point of view you are welcome to criticize me in the comments yes this is not a poor fountain pen this is uh, the fountain pen for poor people which don't have money maybe you're right but it is a functioning functioning writing instrument and let me tell you guys it functions quite well for those who've enjoyed this review please subscribe to my channel to support my activity definitely definitely a fountain pen that i can recommend you to see on uh, youtube uh, that i recommend you to buy if you have the opportunity and i know you have the money because this is pocket change please give it a try maybe you have some school in the family that are just learning how to write thank you guys for your time i want to wish you to have a nice day wherever you are please stay safe in this pandemic time i will see you again at the next episode till then bye bye and god bless mm -hmm.